Ukrainian defense forces hit the military arsenal used for storing and modernizing missile and artillery weapons near the village of Kotlebin in Russia's Volgograd region on the night leading to September 29, local media reported. According to available information, ahead of the Ukrainian attack, a trainload of Iranian missiles arrived at the arsenal. The military facility was closely covered by electronic warfare and Russian air defense systems, however, Ukrainian units were able to complete the combat mission successfully, the general staff of Ukrainian armed forces said in a statement published on Sunday. Fire and explosion occurred in the area. The operation to strike the arsenal was carried out by the unmanned systems forces in cooperation with units of the Special Operations Forces of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense and the Security Service of Ukraine. The defense forces continue to undermine the enemy's military potential, the general staff went on saying. It should be recalled that Ukrainian troops struck two more Russian military depots in Tver and Krasnodar regions on September 21. Over 2,000 tons of ammunition, including those from the North Korea, were destroyed during the attack on Arsenal near Tykoretsk in Krasnodar. A journalist from the Fabrika Novin unexpectedly asked Ukrainian military expert Roman Smitan who will be the next president of Russia. The military expert's answer was even more unexpected than the question itself since he assured that there will never be another president in Russia since the country will soon fall apart. Russians will no longer have a president. Believe me, they will not. Under Putin, Russia will fall apart. That is, Putin has already protected himself from any elections and re-elections until 2030. He is protected from external interference, that is, no one will kill him, with a snuff box and so on. A military expert expressed his opinion about the fate of the Russian Federation. Then, Roman Svitan added to the above, Under Putin, Russia will fall apart, just as there was no president of the Soviet Union after Gorbachev, for the same reason, Russia will not have a president. This is the last president. The Russian Federation is the product of the Soviet Empire's collapse, just as the Soviet Union was the product of Imperial Russia's collapse. Looking at the long history of empires, it's not at all surprising that today's Russia has embarked on a project of re-imperialization, the attempt to create as much of its former empire as it can. Equally unsurprisingly, Russia's effort will fail. The vast majority of seemingly stable empires decay over time until all that is left is the imperial center. The Carnegie Center's Maxim Samorukov recently published an article in Foreign Affairs entitled Putin's Brittle Regime. Like the Soviet one that preceded it, his system is always on the brink of collapse. The argument is driven by a straightforward historical analogy. The Soviet system appeared strong and immutable and virtually no one predicted its collapse. But collapse, it did. Likewise, the Putin system appears strong and resilient and few people can imagine its collapse. But collapse, it will. Following Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine in February 2022 and the calamitous early missteps of the Russian army, many Western experts crowed over the possibility of Russia disintegrating.